Hey, and welcome to this video for Softros Land Messenger. So if you haven't already, you can go ahead and head to the website. It's messenger.softros.com. And once you get to the website, you'll see that there's going to be a download link to go ahead and get your free trial of the Softros Land Messenger. So if we come down here and click on the download your free trial button, we can go ahead and download the installer for Softros. Simply click on the Softros Land Messenger installer, and the installer will go ahead and download onto your machine. Go ahead and run the installer for Softros, and now we can go ahead and begin the installation process. So let's go ahead and start off by clicking on the next button. Agree to the terms and click on next. Click on next. Choose the location to save the software, and click on install. Once the installation is complete, go ahead and make sure that Launch Softros is selected, and we can click on the Finish button. So here we've got our Softros window, where we're going to be able to see all of our friends and all of the people that we're chatting with. And if we go in our taskbar, we can see that there's an icon here for Softros, and if we right-click on it, we can go ahead and change our status and control other information with Softros as well. We can also exit out of Softros if we'd like as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the features of Softros. If we look in the top right hand corner, we've got our settings. If we click on that, here you can control all the settings of the software. So here we have our general settings where we can adjust different settings like how often it's going to refresh our user list. If we go into our user information tab, we can go ahead and change our username and input our personal information like our name, department and title, things like that. If we go into our messaging tab, we can change the font size and some other settings here. In our file transfer tab, we can choose whether or not we want files to automatically be downloaded or if we want it to ask for permission first. We can also specify a location for the files to be saved. And if we go to our hotkeys tab, we can also change whether or not we want a hotkey for sending messages. So you can see that I can have messages sent either by pressing the enter key or if I want I can set it to control plus enter. Okay, so as you can see here, I have someone that's just joined me on my Softros LAN Messenger. So one of the great things about Softros is that this is a LAN Messenger, which means that you don't have to have an internet connection in order to chat with other people on your network. So anyone that's on your network can communicate directly with you through this messenger. So if we want to go ahead and pull up a conversation, all we have to do is click on the person that we want to talk to, and it's going to go ahead and bring up a conversation window. So here we can go ahead and chat with anyone that's on our network and running our Softros LAN Messenger. So chatting with your friends or coworkers is very easy, and of course if I want I can also invite more people to join the conversation. In addition to being able to chat with people using the Softros LAN Messenger, I can also send files to anyone that's on my list as well. So let's say I want to send Bill here a file. I can click on the Send Files button, and I have two options. I can either browse to the file that I want to share, or I can use the drag and drop feature. So using the drag and drop features, I can directly drag files onto Softros, and it's going to go ahead and send those files to Bill. All right, so I went ahead and pulled up a sample video on my computer here. So let's say I want to go ahead and share this video with someone else that's using the Softros LAN Messenger. I can go ahead and select that video and drag and drop it onto my Messenger pane here and it's going to go ahead and directly start sending that file uh, to Bill here. And it's really just that easy. As you can see, the file has successfully been sent, and of course Bill can go ahead and open that file immediately. And likewise, if Bill wants to go ahead and send me a video as well, he can do the same thing that I did and go ahead and send me that file by dragging and dropping the video onto his message panel. Once the video is received on my end, you'll see that I get a blue link that says Open Folder. This allows me to browse to the location of where the video is stored. So if I click on Open Folder, you can see that I can go ahead and open the video that Bill sent me. On any of these conversations, if we go to the top of the conversation, you'll see that I can see a View User History panel where I can go in here and see all the previous conversations that I've had with Bill here. And if I want, of course, I can go ahead and print a log of any conversations that I have. And I can go ahead and save these or copy to a clipboard as well. All right, heading back to the Softros Messenger panel here. If I want to go ahead and change my status to busy, if I'm unavailable right now, I can come down here and select busy and set my status. And that's going to go ahead and allow everyone to see an updated version of my status. So now everyone's going to know that I'm unavailable to chat. I can also change my status to away if I'm not going to be by my computer for a period of time. Then I can go ahead and update my status there as well. 
And of course, when I'm ready, I can go ahead and select when I'm available. Another cool thing that I can do with the Softros Land Messenger is if I want, if I have multiple people on my list that are currently using the Messenger, I can right click on the name of one of my contacts here and click on send a broadcast message. And what I can do is I can go ahead and select anyone on the list or I can also select either no one or everyone on my list. And if I select everyone, then everyone that is currently using this Land Messenger that I can see is going to get the message that I sent. Now I only have one person currently active, but if I had multiple people then I'd be able to easily send this to everyone and it's a great way to communicate with uh, groups of people. Alright, so this has been a quick look at the Softros LAN Messenger. Go ahead and check it out at messenger.softros.com and download your free trial of the software today. Hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. Thanks for watching and have a great day.